did have one idea. Hey, Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Yeah, sure, Ryan. Welcome into Box Office Quarterbacks for an emergency pod. Let's call it nerd shit because it really is. And this was one of the biggest bombshells that has been dropped in recent nerd culture history. Uh, we got the Deadpool 3 announcement that we were waiting for today. But not only that, we get the return of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, this time in the MCU. This dude right there is back. <laughs> He's back. And I honestly am still processing this news two hours later. What about you guys? Yeah, uh, I was watching Deadpool like before the, the podcast because I was just like, let me compare, like, what can we expect? And man, they put so much effort into the first Deadpool, just the first 15 minutes. So we can hopefully expect, you know, that same, especially since we're going to not, we're not going to be able to get it until 2024. Yeah, um, them telling me that they only have a year until this movie comes out. Like, did they finish filming already? Is that a thing? It hasn't started yet, but I think they're ramping it up. And this was just the announcement that, hey, he's in this movie. So uh, the calm before the storm, if you will. But um, I wasn't I wasn't too surprised. And I'll tell you why. It's because um, we've already dipped into quite a decent amount of X-Men characters from the original cast um, with Evan Peters returning in WandaVision. And um, we got Professor X and Multiverse of Madness. Um, that was already two of the big ones. Um, I fully expected Hugh Jackman to make a comeback too. Um, especially the Deadpool one makes sense. He's had a little part in both of the Deadpool movies. Um, now, was Hugh Jackman in it directly? No. Referenced, of course. Um, and he even mentions the uh, the Logan, a Logan joke. I think it was in Deadpool 2. Um, so I uh, wasn't too surprised, but definitely surprised that that's how Marvel announced it. Um, given recent history with, uh, cameos or appearances of former actors or future actors coming in, uh, with John Krasinski and multiverse of madness and with both of the Peter Parkers and the um, new Spider-Man no way home. Um, that both of those were just under wraps. Like we never heard a squeak about it, you know? So that is surprising in that sense. Um, but not surprising that Hugh Jackman would come back. And like Eric said in the chat, he sent a tweet. Somebody tweeted out. Um, Hugh Jackman saw everybody eating off of Marvel and said, I'm going to need a Supermax. <laughs> so uh, one of the one of the top tweets I saw from it, definitely. Yeah. And, you, you know, we have Tobey Maguire and Hugh Jackman and Andrew Garfield in play for Secret Wars. And I think that's really, really cool. Uh, you can almost bet that at least two of those guys are going to show up in that movie, but it kind of derails a little bit of the X-Men fan casting that we've been seeing for Wolverine. You know, we've been seeing who, like who are the names that they've been throwing out the, the guy who, who I'm blanking on right now, the main actor in Kingsman the secret service is, is the guy that everybody wants to play Wolverine. But now you who kit the goat back, and I mean, you can't argue with how cool this is to see not only Wolverine interact in this world, but Deadpool is making his MCU debut as well. Are you guys happy that they're bringing back Hugh Jackman or would you rather have seen uh, a, re a total reboot of the X-Men moving forward? I'm actually glad this happened for nerd reasons. Um, I just don't see how you could do Secret Wars, a war with multiple universes, um, without including some of the old actors. And I would bet that Hugh Jackman is far from the last one we're going to get. Um, there may be some surprise ones um, from, like, you know, the early 2000s Blade, um, Blade trilogy, you know. Um, I mean, Ryan Reynolds, Ryan's already back. I mean, he's already as Deadpool, but you might get a few meta jokes about him being in the Blade universe at one point. So um, I, I, I like it. I don't, I don't know how I feel about him being the main MCU Wolverine, though, simply because of his age. And um, I think there's a lot of stories they can still tell with a younger Wolverine that it deserves to have a recast of a younger one. Um, 
But that also leaves up speculation. Like, does that mean we're going to see Deadpool in different universes? Deadpool going to be in the 616 or whatever universe number they give to the MCU? Or is he going to be a different universe? It's funny you say that, Gerald, because on the one hand, I was excited about it. And I was thinking that only someone like Ryan Reynolds could bring back someone like Hugh Jackman. Um, just, you know, with Ryan Reynolds' caliber as an actor. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure it didn't take much convincing to get Hugh Jackman back, despite his protests that he would never come back. But at the same time, and because this is a, you know, you guys have a sports background, and this is, you know, uh, I wonder if you guys can in, explain this joke to me that was told by somebody um, when I said Hugh Jackman's going to be playing Wolverine in, in MCU. He's like, that's like telling me that the Seattle Seahawks are going to suck. Oh, he, he, I think I think somebody was saying no shit, Sherlock. Okay, yeah, okay, that's what it sounded like. But I just was like, yeah, I don't know what that means. So I figured my, my friends here at box office quarterbacks could explain that to me. So, but he it, it, that that in and of itself kind of makes sense because you know, has Hugh Jackman had work in the last few years? Of anything noticeable? I don't like he's made so much money off the X-Men franchise. I don't really think he needs to work anymore. He's just kind of reached that level. And I honestly, the last movie I think I saw him in was Logan, which is one of the best superhero movies of all time. Still to this day, I I rank it number three on my list after uh, Into the Spider-Verse and The Dark Knight. But yeah, he didn't have to do this. He really didn't. So I think Ryan Reynolds, obviously, and Sean Levy, the director, pitched him something that he couldn't say no to. And Ryan Reynolds has said in past interviews that uh, in the mid-2000s or the 2010s, whatever the hell you call it, they were pitching a Wolverine and Deadpool road trip buddy movie. And if that's what we're getting, that's going to be fantastic, honestly. Just those two characters going around the MCU, meeting all these different people. I think that that is the way to go if we're going to talk about the story of it. Wolverine and, and I can Deadpool, picture it now. multiverse of friendship. friendship. <laughs> multiverse friendship. of friendships. There multiverse of friendships or multiverse of like just wild car rides. Or, or like I, I can almost guarantee there's going to be a spoof title for this movie. Like it's going to have its I real really, title. Yeah. And I, I just, I can't wait for it to come out because I think with everything that's been coming out, all the new spinoffs, it's going to leave a lot of viewers, maybe even ourselves, scratching our heads a little bit. And I think that having a Deadpool 3 with Ryan Reynolds' character breaking the fourth wall a bunch of times, it'll be really fun to see how he's just like, oh no, don't worry, this isn't like She-Hulk where you're going to have a bunch of cameos. We're going to be explaining what's really going on in this world. <laughs> like... I, I'm just really looking forward to that because I, I think I mentioned earlier, I was watching Deadpool uh, before this, uh, just the first 15 minutes of it. And man, the fourth wall breaks were just perfect. Everything he says, you know, about uh, McAvoy and Patrick Stewart as uh, Professor Xavier, um, the callbacks to him playing the Green Lantern. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but whenever he's becoming Deadpool – and, uh, you know, he's being transported in that little pod or whatever. And he says, please don't make the suit g- green or animated. Yeah. <laughs> and I, it just went over my head the first time. Yeah, that and at the end, whenever he shoots old Ryan Reynolds, who was looking at the Green Lantern script, and yeah. then also kills Ryan Reynolds, who was Deadpool in the X-Men universe, um, whatever failure that was. Um, people forget, like, Ryan Reynolds has been in a lot of bad superhero movies, too. But... um. No, I'm excited for this, and I—I I know you mentioned She-Hulk. I kind of—I really want She-Hulk in his movie. I That's just want to the see them character. Both, them both oh, break the yeah. fourth wall at the same time. Um, we we kind of saw the Hulk and She-Hulk kind of like a, allude to it in the first She-Hulk episode, but um, could you just imagine like she's over here breaking the fourth wall, like this guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, and then he goes like, "The fuck you mean, She-Hulk? And who are you talking to?" <laughs> It would be the most sarcastic <laughs> movie of all time, and I'm all here for it. I yes. really am. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So Daredevil, She-Hulk, um, that, that just needs to be a part of the uh, multiverse of friendships. Uh, and, uh, but, yeah. I, 
just yeah. I'm excited I'm, for this. I'm really, I mean, given the weight and everything and the disappointment from Deadpool 2, um, I'm, I'm really hoping they'll just, you know, uh, come in with all hands on deck. And, that, and that's common. I think like Iron Man 2 wasn't all that. Thor, Dark World, that's the second one. I don't think that was all that. And Iron Man 3 was a, like relatively better. Uh, Ragnarok was arguably one of the best Thor movies. Um you know, so hopefully, you know, they'll just come out swinging with Deadpool three. I'll, I'm here for the wait. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I think it helps. I think it helps having actors to like Ryan Reynolds or even Chris Hemsworth in the movies you mentioned, because um, I think they're so they're pretty self aware, and um, like Ryan Reynolds is aware that like he can't screw up a third try, because you get this third try. Like, not a lot of actors get a third try at a superhero movie, let alone a franchise. Um, and if he knocks out of the park, he's set for life. I mean, we're talking about a guy who doesn't have to change characters ever because he, he's at home. He's still Deadpool and he can get paid to just be Ryan Reynolds in a suit sometimes. So, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. mean, um, sounds like the good life to me. Yeah, no, 100 uh, percent. We it like we can still see, it's it's funny because not many characters can or I'm sorry, actors can be separated from their characters. When we think of Wolverine, we think Hugh Jackman. We think of Iron Man, we think uh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, with Ryan Reynolds, we still see Ryan Reynolds, and we see him as Deadpool. There's just something magical about that. But even in his reality, he's you know dressed up as Deadpool for like kids and in, in the hospital, um, and you know he genuinely enjoys it. Uh, you know, that would be pretty cool. I think we talked about it in the text where we were in our group text that we have that Ryan Gosling was, you know, poised to play somebody. And we all agreed. No, that's that would be a yeah. terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah. So there's so many events. fake MCU sites on Twitter now. Like I can make something up right now. And like a bunch of people would believe it if I said Denzel Washington was cast as Norman Osborn or something off the top of my head. Jordan there are, is gonna play there are so many gullible life. people that will just run with that story. But this is 100% real because I don't think that I would have believed it if Ryan Reynolds didn't tweet it out. If it was just discussing film or any other site like that, I'd be like, what the hell is your source right now? I would have had trouble believing it. Even I had trouble believing it, even though Ryan Reynolds tweeted it out. I didn't until yeah. Hugh Jackman retweeted it and was like, sure. Like, I was like, oh, shit, Hugh Jackman's on Twitter today. Um, because, like, Ryan makes a lot of f fucking jokes, let's be real. I mean, this guy, I mean, especially as a Deadpool character, which is fine. Like, I love it. Um, but, like, we've seen a lot of, like, they've been teasing his come to the MCU since, um, like, the second Disney bought Fox and everything. Because um, they've had, like, those commercials with him and Korg for a while. Yeah. And um, we literally got a movie with Korg being the, the narrator before we got Deadpool in the MCU, um, which is fine. But yeah, like that's why I didn't believe it when Ryan Reynolds tweeted. I was like, oh, he's just bullshitting. But uh, yeah. Hugh Jackman doing it. <laughs> I would say, yeah, this is one of the craziest announcements I think I've seen in pop culture, just dropping it like that. And I'll always remember not believing the first three tweets that I saw until I saw Ryan Reynolds tweet. So I am 100% looking forward to this it probably moved all the way up my MCU rankings list. Honestly, uh, anything else you guys want to add before we get out of here tonight? Ryan Watch Reynolds, you. subscribe to box office QBs. Yeah. Do it and, up. and to my only fans. Who? <laughs> Gerald, new side venture. Gerald's yeah. only fans. <laughs> out of news. That was like the new job he was fun. talking about. Um, <laughs> it's not a job if you love what you do. Ew. Ew. That's Ew. true. That's true. Ew. All right, guys. Well, we will be back this week. We're probably going to do She Hulk. I said this last week. It's probably going to happen this week. And then we got Hocus Pocus 2 and a whole bunch of other good stuff planned. I'm Jeff. He's Ahmed. He's Gerald. We're box office quarterbacks. Like and subscribe to our page down below. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. We will see you guys very, very soon.